Hello, today I'm going to bake a fish in 3D Coat 2025, which I recently updated to. I've got this nice minty green colour scheme. I'm going to close this. I'm going to go to the sculpt room, which is now available from this drop down menu. Then I need to go to File, Import, Import for Sculpt. I started sculpting this fish yesterday. Uh, I actually started in 3D Coat because I wanted to try out the sculpt tools. Then I decided to take it into ZBrush because I was more familiar with it and I was having a few problems trying to get the fin to be in the centre of the body and stuff like that. But things I really did like about 3D Coat was the pose tool. Anyway, so I need to import the other models, which is the eyes and the pupils. And I know that fish don't have eyelids, but this is like a sort of cockerel fish, sort of a made up thing that I just was having fun with. Then I'll go to the retopology room and I need to load my UV mapped model, so I'm just going to import that from this mesh import menu and I've got it as fish creature all here. It will give this warning message but it's fine. And then I just click apply. So that's the same size as the sculpt reference which is good. I can delete this I don't need it, so now I will rename these so that they are all the same as the sculpt objects, which I also need to name. I don't need that, so I'll delete it. Now I will go to bake and I will put the retopology model into the paint room but without baking it. So I want it as a 4K texture. Just going to leave the UV set name as the same. So now that is in paint room and it has the same name as the polygroups that I just named there. If I go to bake, I have got name correspondence for baking on, which doesn't matter if you've only got one object, but for multiple objects it's useful because these eyes are under these eyelids and I don't want the normal map clipping uh, and getting ruined because of that. So I will go to rebake, sculpt mesh changes onto paint mesh. Um, before I do this, let's just cancel that. I found that I've had trouble with seeing the toggle ghosting option with the bake if the painting object is visible, so I'm just going to hide that. Then press it again. And for the outer shell, it is quite visible. I've already set these values from previous go. These values change depending on the 3D object and what scale it is. Sliding these values changes that. I don't want it too far out and I don't want it too far in because it will miss details so I need to set it sort of so it's all encompassing the object but not too far out. So I had it at 5.88, something like that, which is enough to surround the fish. Then I can preview the inner shell 
if I toggle ghosting, I can see that it's within the sculpted mesh, which is good. And I want to make sure that it's not coming out or not going in too far. So it just has to be in enough to be um, all within the bounds of the sculpt. Then I'm going to press OK. And because I hid the paint objects earlier, we can't see anything. So I'm just going to show them. So it's put my uh, low poly model in the paint room and it has made a normal map for the model. So that's without the normal map and that's with the normal map applied. This layer is just the default shader that it's baked into that layer. So I can delete that. And it's also saved layers for the individual objects, which I'm just going to delete as well. Like I just showed you, you can show and hide objects from the painting objects tool here. And you can lock objects so that only changes you, you make or paint will only affect objects that are not locked. I'm just going to fill the fish with a plain colour and I don't want the glossiness and I don't need the depth, just the colour and I'm going to go to fill. And I've put the tool options down here, but usually they're up here somewhere. But you can dock any menu however you like. I'll just press layer and fill the entire layer. Other maps like ambient occlusion and other light maps, you go to edit and you can calculate the occlusion. I usually click separate painting objects if there's multiple objects and these settings are fine. They usually work fine. We want it on a new layer and you can decide how many anti-aliasing samples to give it. That bakes the ambient occlusion map and it's automatically set it to an occlusion method, which is funny because it used to set it to a multiply method in the old version. I'm just going to set it to multiply. If I put it in flat shading, now I can see the ambient occlusion, which is useful sometimes for doing hand painting to know where the boundaries of certain shapes are. If I have it on occlusion, that doesn't show up in this flat shading, so I think for my uses, multiply is more useful there. I'll click 5 to go back to the rendered view. If I go to edit, I can calculate the curvature, which is a map that these smart materials use. So the cavity map has been baked now. Uh, by default, it's not visible. It doesn't need to be visible to actually work with the program. If I show it, this is what it looks like. Another map that can be quite useful with hand painting is the light base curvature. So the light base curvature is set to standard blend by default. I usually set it either to overlay or soft light and that can help with the sort of unpainted look or give it like a guide for where the light areas might be. 
you could work into this and blend it and make it look a lot nicer. Sometimes I will use smart materials in 3D Coat. Um, now with the new version you can access them from this sort of hover menu here along with other things. I quite like to have them just docked so I've just put them here in the menu. All you do to use them is you click on one and then you can preview it, the material preview. So I would usually use those with the fill tool and you can define different properties by clicking a material and then you can edit them as well. And that's filled with the material. To get out of this I'll click this X there and then go back to the brush mode. I won't be talking about painting in this video, I just wanted to go over the baking and the different maps you can bake really to start with. I hope that's been helpful and thank you for watching.